Hi, and welcome to More Human, More Resources, the HR podcast for entrepreneurs. I'm Vicki Brown, your host and CEO of Vidomineo Enterprises. As a serial entrepreneur, I understand that having the right expert help has been critical to my success. That's why I'm dedicated to telling you, in plain language, what's going on in the world of HR that might impact your business and what you need to do about it with real actionable tips to help you master that list of must-dos and grow your leadership muscle. First things first, the information contained in this podcast is provided for general purposes only and is not to be considered legal advice. Your decision to adopt or not adopt any practice or procedure mentioned in this podcast is solely yours and we bear no responsibility for the outcome. We urge you to always consult legal counsel and other appropriate licensed professionals. And with that, let's get into the show. You're listening to Season 2, Episode 2. I know we've all been focused on the Great Resignation, and rightly so. It's had an impact on all of us. You may have found yourself short-staffed for much longer than you anticipated, or maybe the people you've recently brought on to fill the gaps aren't quite up to the quality you expected, or if they are, they're much more expensive than you anticipated. But keep in mind that the only thing that is constant is change. And as company leaders, we have to always focus on what's coming down the road. So before we all know it, we're going to be faced with what I'm calling the great talent tidal wave. It's inevitable. There's a whole very large group of workers that were put out of work because of downsizing or companies temporarily halting business. And many of them decided to take the time and the benefit of a good sized unemployment check to up level their skills. They went back to school, started working on advanced degrees or got senior certifications in their field. Or maybe they took the opportunity to go for it in a completely different field that they always wanted. No matter, the fact is they got better. Better skills, better education, better experience. And soon, much sooner than you think, all that up-level talent is going to flood the employment scene. That's the great talent tidal wave. So how can you make sure you take advantage of this onslaught of talent? Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You have to position yourself as an employer of choice. Remember, you aren't the only company that'll want these high skill level workers. Besides, this is an opportunity for you to enhance your whole organization. But first, you have to know what you're looking for. So take a good look at where you are now and where you want to go in one year, three years, five years out. What is your vision for the future of your company? Who are your target customers? What type of services or products are you offering? Have you expanded services? Or maybe you've expanded geographically. What organization chart supports that vision? For instance, maybe everyone reports to you directly now, but that may not work for the future version of your company. Maybe you'll need to free up your time to work on developing products or enhancing how you market. And that means most of those people who report to you now should report to someone else. Well, what skills will that future manager or director need? Will you need to hire someone for that role? Or is there someone on your team that you can grow into the job? And if you do have someone you can grow, what about the replacement for their current job? You see, when you really stop and think about it and flesh out your vision, it gives you an opportunity to start figuring out what you'll need from a team perspective to make that vision a reality. And once you have a handle on that, well, then you're ready to start building your future team. You'll have a handle on what talent you need and what talent you can grow. And by the way, it'll also help inform your budget because you'll need to allow for the talent cost. Now that you know who you're going after, well, now you have to attract them. Forget posting for jobs. You're marketing for talent. Approach it that way. It's just the same way you market to your target customer. Now you're marketing to your target candidate. Create a frictionless candidate experience. Tout the advantages of working at your company. Things like opportunity for development, a solid benefits package, career pathing and or mentorship. And don't forget to talk about 
what the company stands for. Who are you in the world? What are the values? What type of corporate citizen are you? All this goes in the soup of information that helps a candidate decide to apply to your company and eventually accept your job offer. I know positioning yourself as an employer of choice has a lot of pieces to it. In fact, check out our three part series on how to prevent the great resignation for tips and ideas you should consider. Figure out what works for you, maybe even develop some new ideas and implement, implement, implement. Because sure, being an employer of choice will certainly help you retain the talent you have, but, and maybe even more importantly, it'll help you attract the talent you need for tomorrow. Because the great talent tidal wave is coming. Are you ready? If you found this information helpful, please leave a review and tell a friend. Thanks for spending the time. Until next week, same time, same place.